Now, part three questions. What we have here is some, as we mentioned, more tricky questions. So it was about cities, that part two one. So there's a connection to cities, but now they're discussing problems generally. So, and asking you to compare then, and asking you for solutions. So in a lot of ways, the, you notice that these speaking questions are like task two writing. So they then may ask you other questions about cities as well, but they'll change topics slightly. So this is a comparison between city and rural areas, asking you to compare here. And advantages and disadvantages. And then forcing you to talk about, so maybe the person only talks about one side, they may force you to talk about the countryside. And then again, the future, maybe a bit of a prediction or speculation question there. Now what happens in part three, sometimes students find these questions very difficult. So you, you can ask for the examiner to repeat the question or rephrase it. Also you could ask them if you really find it difficult, could, could you give me an example of that? Now that will help the exam, uh, help you understand the question and the examiner will be okay with that and they will generally give you a nice example to make it a little easier. Over to the side there we see another one where sometimes we're going to say that where people in Vietnam generally prefer to live in. Now that is you know, paraphrasing the question so you're going to use that a little bit to, to help you provide your answer. 